Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi there, I'm Manny Pacheco for Celebrating Act 2 and Forgotten Hollywood. We are here at Cinecon at Hollywood Heritage Museum, and we're lucky to have a member of Hollywood Heritage, Dave Grime, who's also a dear friend, and I want to talk to him a little bit about the sights and sounds of Cinecon. You seem to be on the uh, circuit for, for film festivals and, and all sorts of movie festivals. Well, this is, this is my longest run. I've done Cinecon now has to be 22 or 23 times, steadily from about 1998 on. Wow. Yeah, plus, uh, but I've been coming to film conventions since the 80s, starting with the Sons of the Desert. Right. Yeah. The Sons of the, and the, the Sons of the Desert is the Laurel and Hardy International the Convention. Laurel and Hardy Appreciation Society, we just had one recently, but two, two weekends ago in Albuquerque. Yeah. So I was just at that, and uh, that was our first one back after four year COVID hiatus, because we were every other year. Tell us a little bit about this year's Cinecon. What have you seen? What has surprised you? Are you happy to be back live? This right now is the best part, seeing dear old friends, those, some of whom, well, I see you, but I mean, and other Californians, but most of these people, you know, I haven't seen in um, three or four years now and uh, the others from other parts of the country, and it's, it's just great getting the family back together again. That's really what it is. It's a, it's a film family. You're from Boston? Originally from Boston, Massachusetts, yes. You couldn't tell that from my accent now, could you? <laughs> but, uh, but I've been out here almost 25 years, 25 years in November, but, but uh, still a Sox fan. They have not been hitting the ball wicked hard this year, unfortunately. <laughs> so tell us about uh, uh, Cinecon for you. Why is Cinecon such a special treat as opposed to, let's say, the uh, Turner Classic Movies Film Festival? Well, it's different because um, the big advantage, of course, it has over TCM is that everything runs sequentially, so you can't theoretically see everything. TCM, you're paying big, big money, and you have to pick and choose. And, you know, uh, you know, I went to the TCM one this last April, you know, paid $750 for a pass, and I wound up seeing 14 films during the course of the weekend. Yeah. But here, you, you, you get to see things that are very obscure or hasn't screened in a long yeah. time. Is that's, that's, that's the big difference. Cinecon specializes in the more obscure things that the um, uh, studios have had in the back vaults for years and years. Some of them they have, have done restorations on for Cinecon, and then they wind up on TCM and being put out on DVD, which is wonderful. Uh, the TCM Film Festival, it's more the old war horses, the, the better known films that everyone's used to, but I understand why they do their festival the way they do it. They're trying to draw a younger audience, and um, on their level, they're also succeeding, but I love both festivals. I, you know, I love old movies. I love being together with film buffs. And you mentioned one thing, and let me end on this note. When you can restore a movie like, for example, the lost Laurel and Hardy Battle of the Century, and then it ends up being selected by uh, the Library of Con Con uh, Congress as aesthetically important, part of their, their film uh, uh, catalog of important films, it, it really does make you feel good that, uh, that they're part of a part, Hollywood heritage and you personally are part of something that's really special in the restoration and keeping alive the films that we love. Absolutely, and it was right here in this room that I saw the restored reel of Battle of the Century for the very first time. Our buddy Stan Tavel, who's, of course, heading up th this convention, he runs the Laurel and Hardy tent Hollywood party right from this very room, and he got a print of it at that time, and, you know, of course, we have to thank John Rosales and that wonderful story of how we came about getting the reel uh, from the Gordon Burkow collection, and... Uh, it's something that Eddie, nobody had seen for 50 years. And, uh, and, quite, and quite frankly, the only way we could have seen that battle of the century was if you watched Robert Youngson's uh, uh, When Comedy Was King back in the 1957. So it kept a, a bit of it alive, and now we can see it all. And it's all because of the restoration efforts of Stan Taffel, Hollywood Heritage, and, of course, Cinecon. I'm Annie Pacheco for Forgotten Hollywood. And celebrating Act Two, I want to thank my friend Dave Grime for uh, spending a few moments with us. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.